Morning guys, welcome back to our channel and our homestead up here in Southern Utah. In our last video, we got that window up and that window up and that was the only ones we got up, but we're gonna get more up. Not in this video. This video, we're gonna work on the pocket door. I actually bought a pocket door frame kit, pocket door frame and hardware set it's called. So I'm gonna work on putting that in our pocket door rough opening. That way we kind of know exactly where everything is gonna land. It looks like there's a lot of pieces and it's some assembly required. So I'm gonna read the directions try to figure out how this works because it's meant for 80 inch tall doors to 90 inch tall doors from 24 inch doors to 36 inch doors it's like all all like one size fits all frame that you have to kind of put together so i'm gonna sit here read the directions figure this out and then install this read the instructions measure some things found out that my rough opening was just a little bit too big i feel like like a pattern with my rough openings is i make them i forget to like add in the bottom plate as an inch and a half so they're always bigger but i mean i guess like I could, like right now, I just added a two by on there, two by four. I guess it's way better than it being too small because I'd have to like redo the whole framing, but right now I can just add pieces onto it. Good to go. Anyways, let me show you what we're working with over here with this pocket door frame. Right, so this pocket door frame, these numbers are backwards, but they have, I guess it doesn't do, oh, it does 36 if you leave it here. We're doing a 30 inch door, so I cut it here. And then also I already cut it, but you can see there's a third, that was a, I think it was like this. Cut that, that's off. Did the same thing to their side and it's like off. It's a quarter inch different. But I cut directly on the line, so hopefully that's not gonna be an issue. We'll find out at the end of this, I'm sure. Once I get done, I just gotta cut, I gotta rip off this little piece right here, and then I gotta cut this metal two inches back from here, and then I can start putting brackets on and actually putting this thing in, so. I got those pieces cut to length, so we have a 30 inch door ready to go. I installed the bracket on the end over here. It fits perfectly end to end. And then also, I don't know if you can see, I put these little nails right where the door height's gonna be, which is what it says to do in the instructions, so it just rests on there. Leveled it, it's perfectly level. So now I can drive the nails into the bracket on each side so that this thing's set in place, and then we can move on to the next step. Actually pretty painless, honestly, you just stick these two long pieces with the metal around them onto some brackets on the ground, nailed those to the ground and put them up here. And this is where you're gonna nail drywall. It's just wood with uh, metal on the inside. This is where the pocket door slides in. When I do do drywall though, when I start installing that, I'm gonna put a brace in the side here, like just in here, like put a, cut a piece of wood and then I'll be able to nail into it with the drywall and not have any issues of it like breaking or anything like that. Also, there's some leftover hardware for when the door is here. I don't have the door, door yet. So I just taped the little bag that it came with, nailed it up right next to it so that I don't lose it with the instructions and everything like that because I don't know when that's going to happen. On to the next thing for the day. We love Native and Native is the sponsor of today's video. One of my favorite scents is the classic coconut vanilla. With Native's bestseller pack, you can enjoy every part of your shower routine. I like the vanilla in here because it keeps the bugs away while we're outdoors or the calming salty breeze with sea salt and cedar. If you'd like something sweeter, you can enjoy the fruity sweetness of sweet peach and nectar with limited edition scents launching all the time. The deodorant body spray is powered by the air and made with six simple ingredients, including nitrogen and ozone-friendly natural propellant that's vegan and cruelty-free. It's denatured alcohol made from corn to dry quickly and fight odor. It gives you a breezy feel. It's made with ingredients you know, like coconut oil and shea butter. So you can read every single one of the ingredients. Give your personal care routine its own autumn moment with the new Fall Escape Collection. It's featuring vanilla and cactus flower. So head on over, get your deodorant, body wash, Deodorizing spray, sunscreen, they have all kinds of products on there that just feel good on your body. That's code Life Elevated for 33% off. So you're paying $24 for a three pack. Back from Vegas, we had to take Allie to the airport so she could go home because she starts school here in about a week. We are gonna miss her. We had a bunch of fun with her this summer. We look forward to having her come back. I don't think we filmed it, but we went and picked up something that we're extremely excited about. We got a wood burning stove. It's brand new. It's rated up to 2,000 square feet and our apartment is 1,200. It's like a medium sized stove. We put this tarp over it just so it doesn't get dirty. And when it rains, it kind of seeps through here still. And when it the rain hits the ground, it like splatters everywhere. So that's on there, but I uncovered it to show you guys and also to look at the instructions to see the distances of where it has to be away from the wall because I need to put the support box up in the roof today because our roofing is gonna be here in the next 
hopefully a couple days. I just want to be ready so we can put that on and this support box and the exhaust that comes out of the roof needs to be fully installed so that we can cut a hole for it when it's time to do the uh, roofing installation. So I'm going to do today, I just need to figure out exactly how far away from the wall it needs to be, how far away from the door it's going to be, and then I can have an idea on where in the ceiling it's going to be, and then I can use my plumb bob, figure out exactly where it needs to be cut out at the top, and I can cut a hole in the, in the roof. So we're going to go up there, start measuring everything out, and see what, hopefully it falls in between two rafters. That will be nice. I'll make it sure it does. <laughs> Looks like I need to look at E. I have the rear deflector. So e is 18 inches to the center of the pipe. So 18 inches, that's what it says on the back, which means I'm gonna have to go 18 and a half inches because I'm gonna have half inch drywall. I have all the pipe and the support box and everything in these boxes. I don't know what's what, so I'm gonna open them up and figure out exactly which one I need. And it is windy today. And I'm trying to put it in between these two rafters. I wrote a mark down here. So I'm 18 and a half inches off of that bottom plate, which is supposed to be 18 inches, but with a half inch for the drywall. And I'm gonna put it up here and I'm gonna try to favor that side. Cause this is, I, I don't want, I, want, I want it to be further away from the door, but I don't want it to be in this one. That's just too far away. So I'm gonna go up there, measure six and quarter inches over from the rafter because this support box is 12 and a half inches. So right at center. And I'm gonna drop my plumb bob, wait for it to level out and see where it's at and then move it up and down and figure out, mark it. Then I'll be able Able to mark out where exactly the hole needs to be so I can start cutting. Dude, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Do you like parkour now? like 90 degree grinders or a dot co or whatever you want to call it's a little it. different with this, but it still works. <laughs> Those are in, now I'm gonna go down, put block in here, 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 and there, and then this thing will be good. Nice, looks good. Yeah. Hey, can you tell me why they said you should put in the box and everything right now versus like later on? They felt like that was kind of like a big topic as to why we're doing it right now. If you had the metal roof on there first, then you have to slit the metal roof and stick the thing underneath it. So it's like a waterfall effect. This way you can put roofing on top of everything and caulk it and then it's waterproof. Like it's just, you can do it the other way, but it's just, this way is easy. So if you can do your wood burning stove before, before you, you put do your, your metal, metal roofing. Roof. Yeah. But the actual stove isn't going in until later. No, this, it's just gonna go like this. I'm gonna put the pipes in. We're gonna have it extend up the top. We're gonna do pretty much the top part is gonna be on besides the snow diverter, which comes on after obviously. Once that's on, then we can do this roof 
And then whenever we get to putting the stove in, then all we got to do is just put the pipe on the stove with that, and that's just a little extension piece. So that's it. That's it. It's like you found my alien spaceship right there. Thing's big, right? I, I, I love imagine, it. I didn't imagine this chimney stack was gonna be like this big. We're gonna okay. have to like play past the baton of tools and parts. Okay, but what's the So plan? I'll go up there and then I need to nail in the blocking to the OSB and then also screw in the support box to the blocking that we just put in. Once that's done, I need you to hand me one section of pipe. Okay. And then the cone and then the little flashing cone deal. I don't know what it's called. And the level so I can make sure the pipe is good and nice and straight before I screw that thing down and call. The second pipe can, can come after that, the chimney stack. It has to be four feet off the roof. It's gonna be like five. Last piece. Last piece. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's sweet. Whenever you do the roof, we'll have to take that cone off the top and put it back on. At least now, enough, no water can get in that hole. Nice. The chimney stack's what? Like, I'm six foot, so maybe five feet? Maybe just a little bit less? Or more? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it's the same size as you, but I think it's because you're standing behind it. All right, the chimney. The support block box is completely installed. It's ready to go. So the only thing we have to do left for a fireplace is to put the fireplace in, put the pipe from the fireplace up to the support box and put a few screws in it to make it stay. Cause it's like telescoping and we have that downstairs. We should be getting our roofing. There's a few things we have to do on the roof before we can put the roofing on. All right, well, it's kind of windy. I don't know if you can even hear me. This last one right here, this strap, I'm gonna wait obviously until this OSB is down. All the other ones on. Just got done finishing the roof with all the strapping. I cut the, the OSB, it was like going over the peak a little bit. So I cut it back so it's right at the edge of the glue lamb. That way there's like a little gap. So there's a little bit of air that gets through. Other than putting ice and water shield and some underlayment, that roof is ready for metal. Now, obviously we're gonna fill that hole when we get all the roof done, we'll have that little piece left. We'll fill the hole, go down a ladder. Like I just said, I cut the, the OSB back from the glue lamp just a little bit to have a little bit of venting. And then also a few of you were asking about venting on the soffit over here, and we are gonna do it. Each of those blocks, I'm gonna cut a little, get a hole saw and cut. I'm not sure what size hole and how many, probably two or three, if I had to guess. That's what's going on in my head anyway. And then we're gonna put some mesh on the outside of it and just staple it on there so no bugs or birds or anything gets in there. And we're gonna do it between every single raft once that's done, then everything will be vented and it shouldn't have any issues with mildew or mold or anything up there. Anyway, it is getting late. The sun's going down. I think I'm going to call it a night. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's another day up here on the homestead. Milo had last kitties night, last few night. Hours old. I'm gonna go show them to you guys right now. They're so tiny. They're tiny. We'll see if she'll let us get in there and show you guys. All right, Milo's in there hanging out. You can see one of the babies right there, but she had six kitties. Check them out. They're all just hanging out, nursing, and Milo's. Milo's really good. We've petted her a few times. We haven't touched the babies at all, but she's totally chill and not aggressive or anything. Yeah, they're so cute. Looks like there's three black and white ones and then three of the other ones that look kind of like our other kitty rocks. We just leave Milo in there in her little bed cooler thing just so he, she doesn't run off and not take care of the babies, but also to protect them from any predators or anything like that that may come about. Because I'm glad we were here for it. I thought when we went to Vegas a couple days ago that it was gonna happen when we were gone, but. Thankfully, it did not. The kids are in Vegas for the week, so we can concentrate on some building. We called them at a roofing place. Our stuff is ready, so tomorrow we're gonna go grab it. Well, today, we're gonna work on yeah. getting this deck done. Yeah, now that we got the roof ready to go, we're gonna put the roof on on Monday. We're gonna have some help, so they're gonna come help us on Mondays. In the meantime, I've already been doing it. I put a couple deck joists right here. We're gonna try to finish this front area of decking. That way, we can walk our windows up our stairs, put some T and like some planking down up here that we can walk on because the decking isn't done yet, and that way we can put these windows in. There you go.
this is our window, 4-0, right? We went to go put it in. Look at that right there. It's like, there's like a huge gap. And then it gets closer and closer. And then you can see like the window gap right here from the, the actual window that opens all the way down. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's completely closed. Like, we, were, we were thinking about just putting it in, but then we're like, no. No. <laughs> um, no. So we got a new one on order. Hopefully it'll be here in like a week or something and then we can finish putting those in. It was really nice having that man lift to throw those things up. I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll probably have to run to the gas. We're gonna have to do the house wrap yeah. as well, so. Yeah, we didn't do the house wrap when we had the man lift just because we have to start from the bottom and work our way up. So I figured might as well use, do, use, use it for things high right now until before we rent it again, we'll make sure we have our window, make sure we got like the two bottom and the middle row of house wrap done. That yeah. way we just have the top. So, we so we're not wasting time doing those when we don't even need a lift. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. What do you need, Charlie? You're so needy right now. Do you need a back wrap? Need a friend? Need a high five? Can I have a high five? High five? Yeah. Yeah, oh, all the lovey doveys The deck framing is completely done. I scratched that. I gotta do the 12 inch two by 10 or two by 12 rim joist still. Other than that, we have the footprint of the deck completely done. Pretty awesome to see, honestly. Once we brace it up a little bit, like, cause I think it's like a little shaky. Once we put some, like, some lateral bracing on it, then we'll be able to walk on it and put the, the windows in and everything. Get everything dried in. I think my wife's gonna smoke up some chicken right now. Sun's going down. I think that we're gonna call it for this video. I want to thank Native for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in getting their products, check the link in the description. Use code Life Elevated to, to get to get their 33% off discount. If you guys want to support our channel, please click the link in the description as well to become a patron. We appreciate that so much, and we will see you guys in a few days.